Damage was done. Just a bit scary. <laughs> wow, this desert's enormous. And it's so hot. It's like a great big beach, but without the sea. I think we're going to be staying here for quite a while. I have to change the drive belt. Oh, why don't we go and find some shade? Good idea. We can find somewhere cooler to wait. Coming, Boosie. <laughs> Come on, Boosie. You're taking up all the shade. What shall we do? Let's try to find another place to shelter. Stay right there, Boosie. We'll be back soon. Ruby Duck, we're going to explore. We won't be long. All right, my friends, carry on. You know where to find me. <laughs> oh. Oh no, just as I feared. <sighs> I'll just have to disconnect the whole navigation system. Oh dear, dear, dear. dear. <sighs> Nothing but sand as far as the eye can see. Do you think it's possible to find shade in the desert? Hello, Roby Talk. Is there anywhere we can find some shade around here? Uh, don't move. I'll go and see. Sorry, you two. There's nothing for several miles. Nothing but desert. Oh, I can't go any further. Why is it so hot in the desert, Robit Hawk? It's because there's no rain. Does that mean there's not much water? That's right. The heat chases away the rain clouds and then drought sets in. That means that the water on the surface and the water underground disappears. That must be why there aren't any flowers here. Or any trees. Yes, the lack of water and the intense heat stop them from growing. Some deserts, like the Sahara, are enormous. It spans more than five million square kilometers. Anyway, I've nearly finished the repairs. You'd better come back now. Which direction did we come from? That way, I think. Well, we're lost. lost. We'll have to ask Robitok to help us. Robitok! Hello, Robitok! Roby talk, Roby. <laughs> Let's see, maybe it's this wire. Oh, I'm so hot. It's really tiring walking about in this heat. This desert is endless, and there's not a speck of shade on the horizon. I've got an idea, but Roby talk has to answer. <laughs> Oh, see, I'd almost finished. Ha, thank you. Adibu, Adila, where are you? Robitok! Oh, we've got lost. Lost? Oh, I'll come and get you. I've almost finished mending everything. Couldn't you miniaturize us? We might find a twig we can sit under to protect ourselves from the sun. All right, we're off. Macro miniaturization. At last, shade. It's much better here. Oh, come and see, Adila. I found something strange. Oh, yes. It's a date. It's a fruit. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. And it's cool. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, will you start your heap of scrap metal? <laughs> <laughs> Very effective, my dear Lucy. What's that? Nice little animal. 
Don't get angry. Ah! 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 Hurry, move it up! We're being chased by a monster! Don't move, ah! Eddie Boo. Don't move. I'd like to see you try. Bring us back to normal size quickly! Ah! 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 Macro-miniaturization! Oh, hey, Roby Top, what was the monster that was chasing us? It was just a little Jaboa, a minuscule rodent that lives in the desert. That little animal scared us so much. Yes. Come on, it's getting late. Back to Celesta. Tree. That's a good idea. I just hope there isn't a Jaboa hiding in it. Huh? Oh, uh. no, stop it. It was only a joke. Don't worry. It's not hot enough for Jaboas here. Huh? Oh. <laughs> so why is it hot in the desert? Because of the lack of rain, there are very few clouds. The heat sets in and makes the earth sweat. And the water hidden in its depths evaporates and disappears. That's exactly right. Yes. See ya! See ya.